Hey, what is up everyone? Here's how to add delivery date in Shopify. So first thing that we are going to do, we're going to go ahead and look for an application. We're just going to go ahead and look for uh, estimated delivery, something like that. And we're going to go ahead and search it in the app store. So here we are going to see a lot of applications, but we're going to look for this particular application here. Estimated delivery date. As you can see, it is a free plan. So there is a free plan available and there are a bunch of applications that you can use here. But I'm going to go ahead and recommend this one. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one and install it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit the install button once again. All right, we're going to go ahead and activate the app extensions. We're going to click this one here. Okay, so it says that it is activated already. Let's go ahead and save it and let's refresh this one. Okay, the next thing that we are going to do is enable it. So we're going to click this one here. All right, as you can see, it has been enabled already. So we can go ahead and poke some things in here. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is we're just going to go ahead and scroll down some things in here. So we have already activated this one and we're going to go ahead and make some few changes. For example, here, you can go ahead and make some changes in here. And basically, if you are going to go ahead and check this one here, uh, this is actually how it is going to look like like this one right here and yep that's actually how it is going to look like but you can make some changes for example if i'm going to go ahead and uh, change this one here so shipping is free so for example like that you can see that once i made that changes you can see it in here now so that's how it looks again we're going to go ahead and save this one now there are a lot of things that we can do here for example for the progress bar instead of having the basic one you can change it to advance and here is how the advance is going to look like this is the text that is also going to appear and as you can see the order status title is ordered that is the one that we have here and then you can go ahead and basically change the description in here so you have the order ready as well and then the order delivered so again those are how it is going to look like so again i'm going to choose basic because i think i prefer this one better and then we're going to go ahead and try to go to the other settings so for the settings you have here order delivery working days you can disable sunday and saturday or you can enable them so it's up to you or you can also disable some of the days in here now minimum of 10 days and maximum of 20 days change it according to what you need and then we're going to go ahead ahead and make some other changes in here so go ahead and try to scroll down and see which are necessary or relevant to yours and then you also have here the appearance the advance and the other settings so if you want to put some custom css you can definitely do that here again we are using a free plan everybody so yep that's just how it goes now we're going to go ahead and enable this once again and we're going to go ahead and check our application so click this one here all right, and as you can see, this is how it is going to look like. So, yep, that is how you're going to do it. Congratulations, everybody. It is very simple. Go ahead and follow those simple steps that I've told you in order for you to get this done. Anyway, should you wish to see more of these videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below.